I'm coming back at you today with another one of our popular tools of the trade videos where we look at things that are not necessarily just guns but uh, gun accessories or things that will be of interest to the gun enthusiast. The first thing I've got here is a little portable safe from the folks at Pine World. I reviewed the Pine World K5 a little while back and uh, that was a, a larger safe made for you know it holds two big handguns this holds one good sized handgun of course it can also be used for uh, other valuables jewelry or cash or documents or whatever but uh these are very tough safes and this is as tough as the k5 just a smaller version of it and it also has some really neat features to it first of all it's really heavily constructed it weighs about eight pounds it's made out of 16 gauge steel it's got tamper proof hinges in it nothing's exposed it opens in three different ways first of all they give you a set of keys with it which is how you initially open the thing and you can keep them around don't keep them in the safe for obvious reasons but you can keep them around use it for opening the safe it also allows you to set a whole bunch of different numeric codes with this six digit keypad and it opens very easily using that numeric code also it has a, a fingerprint reader here it lets you store a whole bunch of different fingerprints in here for different users different uh, authorized users and whatever and uh, really easy to open in that regard too it takes like a half a second to open the thing and as soon as you hit that button the easiest thing for me is to use the fingerprint open because you just put your finger on there it allows you to, to uh, record that fingerprint in six different orientations so if you're coming in from the side or whatever if your finger is not perfectly positioned it'll still open for you and that's a really good deal but it also fits with any number of different uh, sizes of guns you, you can't put like a six inch in frame in here but a four inch in frame works just fine uh, full size 1911 pistols uh, single action armies all kind of different sizes will work in here as well as little pocket guns and there's plenty of room in this thing it's padded on all sides so it's not going to scar your gun up and it's not going to slide around while it's in there inside the brain portion here in the front is a battery door that's uh, got a little battery holder in there that holds four AA batteries and the four AA batteries they say will last you 18 months or a hundred thousand openings of the safe uh, about Kate vouch for that obviously because I hadn't had it that long and I hadn't wore it out that much but it does work wonderfully there's also in this model there's a little light and when you first open it there's a little light that comes on there because a lot of times you're opening your safe in the dark like if you hear something go bump in the night you want to open it and see you know see what's in there there's a little light that'll let you see that that's a nice little touch the hinges are hidden they're, they work from the inside. There's also a cable that's included with it that uh, you can loop this around a, a desk or a nightstand or put it in your car or loop it around a piece of metal there under your seat or whatever. But there's a whole bunch of different ways you can cable this to something. And you, there's a pass through here on the back of it that uh, connects to a wing nut here on the inside that lets your cable be secured inside and you can loop it around whatever outside they also have a phone app that runs with this thing that uh, you can unlock it from the phone app you can reprogram it from the phone app you'll also be able to receive alerts on your app if anybody tries to monkey around with the safe if anybody's trying to get into it or anything like that it'll send an alarm to your phone as well as sound an audible alarm and if somebody tries to pry the door open or something like that it puts out a nice loud alarm there's a little speaker right here man it's a loud little snot but in addition to that you can also get a notification on your phone if you've installed the phone app it's a really neat little touch for this and that's free so this thing is really strong and not going to beat it open you're not going to be able to beat through the steel on this thing not going to be able to pry it open without you knowing about it it's also fully programmable so only authorized users can use it and there's I forget how many hundreds of users can can be programmed into this thing there's also here on the side there's a USB-C power port that you can use if your battery goes dead and you can't uh, find your key or whatever you can stick a USB-C power port in this thing which is not included but they're all over the place 
and uh, you can put that in there to give you temporary power to be able to open your safe. If you do that, you still have to be able to get through the thumbprint. You still have to be able to uh, get through the uh, numeric keypad or something like that. So some crook can't come in here and plug in a USB to this thing and bypass anything. This All this does is give you enough power to open your safe again. Then you change out the batteries or whatever you need to do just in case you can't find your keys. That's just another backup where you can get into this thing. Suggested retail on the Pine World K3 is only $129 but gun blast readers can put in a special code that they've set up for y'all gun blast k3 i'll show that to you here at the bottom of the screen there'll also be a link in the info section where you can go directly to the amazon page for this safe the discount code gun blast k3 will get you an extra 15 percent off of this thing i highly recommend you check them out if you want a little bit bigger safe they've got the k5 the k3 will do everything the k5 will do it's a little bit smaller package it's the Pine World K3. Those of us who carry guns all the time know that it's very important that you also have extra ammo on you, especially if you're carrying revolvers a lot, which I carry revolvers quite often, and uh, I know a lot of people who carry revolvers all the time, and uh, it can be somewhat problematic having the extra ammo on you because uh, there's not a whole lot of options for that. Uh, you can carry speed loaders, that's, that's, that's true and that works fine. But they're really bulky because they're as big around as the cylinder on the gun, and uh, they can, you know, they can really be a little bit bulky and show up in the pocket and stuff like that. A lot of guys just carry loose ammo, and that's fine too. But uh, they're kind of slow to reload because you have to fish them out of your pocket one or two at a time, and they're turned no telling which way and all that. And it just takes a little while to reload that way. Speed strips came out a little while back, and speed strips are great. They're a wonderful solution to that problem. Uh, they allow you to carry. A strip of ammo uh, orientated correctly carries flat in the pocket it works wonderfully for that and just recently just a brand new company has come out with an improvement to the speed strip this is called the centipede it's a uh, made by burial defensive solutions and they're really a, a really a neat little product a common philosophy in these times, especially here in America, is that if a little bit of something's good, then a lot is even better. And that's where the centipede comes in. Rather than having a strip of six cartridges, the centipede has two sides and it carries 12. There's a patent pending on these things. They're really a neat little outfit. They're made out of a out of a soft rubber, so they're pliable, and the uh, the little fingers that hold your cartridges in will move around. But once you get your cartridges in, in there, they don't uh, they don't want to come out in your pocket. I've carried one of these around for several days. I've just had it dumped in my pocket along with my keys and other stuff that I normally carry in that pocket, and these have not come out. What the centipede does is it carries two rows of six rounds of ammo safely and easily in your pocket. It stores flat so your, your pockets are not getting all bulgy and all that kind of stuff. And it, they're easy to get to and they're easy to use. They're pliable enough where they'll flex around without letting them go. So they stay in your pocket. They stay where you want them. And when it comes time to reload, as I've got this old K38 Smith, they're really easy to do. Those of you who have used speed strips in the past know how this goes. You just slide them in there two at a time. You twist them off. Then you go to the next two. You twist them off. And then you go to your final two. Twist them off. And you're all reloaded. That is a whole lot quicker than fishing around for loose rounds in your pocket and poking them in there one at a time. Not as quick as a speed loader, but much more comfortable and easy to carry than a speed loader. It's also handy for carrying spare ammo if you don't have extra mags for a semi-auto pistol, which you ought to have. But uh, you can carry 12 rounds in these things of either 38, 357, or 9mm or 380. 
They might be coming out with bigger models later. I don't know, but this is the first one. Carries either 38 slash 357 or 9 millimeter or 380 ACP. It works wonderfully for that, but you're not going to be just slipping them out of your magazine as easy as you can slip them into the cylinder of a revolver because, uh, you know, you can't back them in there. But it is still an easy way to carry extra ammo for a semi-automatic pistol. The Centipede is a neat little patent pending design from a brand new company, Burial Defensive Solutions, and uh, they're available now. They're just now starting out with these things. They're really a neat little product. You get a package of three of these for $16 shipped anywhere in the continental U.S. I highly recommend you check these out, especially if you carry revolvers on a regular basis. Check them out at BurialDefensiveSolutions.com. got here some custom leather from a gentleman that I was not familiar with before. His name is Daryl Smith. He's done uh, business for a long time, he says, as D. Wallace Customs, but uh, over the last couple of years, his wife has been in failing health, so he's let the business kind of slide while that was going on. She, uh, unfortunately, kind of finally passed away, and uh, after that point, she wanted him to uh, get back into the leather business, try to build his business back up. So he's doing that in conjunction with his son. And the new venture is called Range Point Customs. They offer a wide line of custom work. They're all custom work. They're all hand done one at a time. And he does some really nice looking work. And he wanted to honor my brother Jeff by sending me some custom leather made to honor Jeff. And it's really beautiful stuff. He sent this uh, extreme cross draw rig to uh, fit the uh, Ruger Jeff Quinn GP100, which is something I still can't believe that Ruger actually did. Jeff would have been so honored and so humbled and so amused by that, that uh, they put out a gun in his honor. But that was a wonderful thing and it benefited a great cause of the Bikers Who Care, which was a charity that meant a whole lot to Jeff. It did a lot of kids a lot of good. And uh, I thank Ruger and Lipsy's for spearheading that deal. Anyway, this is a, uh, it's got a snap over the hammer and this holster is really nicely done. It's really nice thick leather. It's an extreme cross draw holster. It's made to fit a standard one and a half inch belt. It's got uh, double welts on it and uh, here on the top of it is carved a likeness of my brother Jeff's iconic beard, which is, uh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of funny. It's a very well made holster and it's really an honor and it's really humbling that, uh, that Daryl chose to, uh, to honor my brother in this fashion. Daryl also wanted to do honor to my brother in a rifle sort of way with leather, so he made this really nice looking sling. It's a, it's a double leather. It's got really nice soft suede on the body side of it. It's wide. It's really strong. It's really nice looking. The details on it, the carving on it and everything is just really, really nice. And uh, it's got, uh, also it's got a likeness of my brother Jeff's beard. And this one, he, uh, he painted the beard white. He also put here Jeff's date of birth and date of death, 11659 to 72720, to honor Jeff's life. And uh, it's got Jeff's name up here above it. And it's got uh, Ruger Hawkeye inscribed in it right here. It's just a very nicely done rig. It's uh, border stamped. It's really nicely stitched. It's just a, there's just not a whole lot that I can say about it other than just a really nice rig. Really uh, a fine honor to my brother Jeff. I appreciate Daryl for doing this and uh, for honoring Jeff. Those of you who are familiar with Daryl's work in the past, he's back to doing work. He's still uh, working as D. Wallace Customs. So if you've got that information, you can still get a hold of him like that. But his new venture is called Range Point Customs. He's at rangepointcustoms.com. Check him out. He's a nice fella and he does really nice work.